Okay, we're talking about the fundamental theorem of calculus, and we said that the theorem says this, the integral from a to b of f of x dx, and that is the area under this function f from x equals a to x equals b, is equal to g of b minus g of a, where this function g here is the antiderivative of function f. And what I want to do now is is give you an intuitive geometrical explanation of the theorem that will hopefully convince you that this must be true. So do this. Take your axes and imagine some function f. You can draw it like this. So here's some function f, which is some function of x. And then imagine some some x value right here. So this this position x marks out some area under the graph from 0 up to that point. So we're thinking about this area right here. We'll call it A. Okay, that area. Okay, a couple of things that you need to note. First, imagine this x position right here. Imagine it increasing. So that line is moving to the right. So the area up to that point is growing. So imagine x increasing and this line is sliding to the right and sweeping out this area behind it. So the first thing to note is that the area is a function of x. So make a note of that. A is in fact a function of x. The amount of area in that region right there depends on how far over we are. Now as x increases think about how fast that area increases. In other words, think about the rate of change of A, how fast A is getting bigger as X increases. And you can hopefully see that the rate of change of A will depend on the value of the function. So in other words, when my X value is right here, where the function is really high, the area is increasing pretty fast because if my X value is right here, each little movement to the right adds a good bit of area under that graph. But when my x value is over here, where the value of the function is pretty low, each corresponding movement to the right doesn't add as much area because this little shape that I'm drawing right here isn't as tall. So let's make a note of that. I'm going to say here area is increasing quickly. So the area is increasing quickly at that point because the value of the function is high. And right here, the area is increasing slowly. Because the value of the function f is low. So the second, second thing I want to note, I'll write over here. I'll say how fast a increases. In other words, the rate of change of a as x increases, that would be dA dx, how fast a increases depends on the height of the function, or depends on the value, the value of f. Now what I'm going to show you next are these two ideas, this and this with numbers. We'll do some real simple examples that illustrate those two ideas with some very clear and simple numbers.